Welcome to Recharge with Richardson, five minutes of hope and inspiration every Monday and Thursday. And now, here is today's episode. Uh, this is crazy, but this is the last Recharge with Richardson in 2020. Woo! <laughs> so I think naturally we're gonna we're gonna title this RIP 2020 and then in parentheses after RIP 2020 is finally. It's been a long year. <laughs> yes, and I just wanted to kind of show off my shirt here. Um, it's based on a Matthew West song. It says, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And uh, in smaller letters it says things oh, you can't really see in the camera, but it says like anxious. Um, what are some other things it says? Bitter. Bitter. Um, disheartened. Yeah, all kinds of things where we're like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And I feel like this is really the epitome of 2020. So it's nice to know that time is still moving. And, you know, why, why are we excited for 2021, even though we know um, the pandemic isn't just going to end? Oh, this is our dog, Toph, by the way. Um, she's been in other videos, <laughs> she's but our yeah, guest. she's hanging out with us. Um, so yeah, what, well, what I mean, are we I've about? seen a lot of people asking this on social media. So obviously, the pandemic is not going to go away at midnight on January first, right? So right, you right, know right. that. But at the same time, it gives us something to hope for, something to push for. You know, like twenty twenty has really just felt like a runaway train at this point. But 2021 offers us this hope of a new beginning, of, of being able to start over. And we know that it's not going to be this instant process, if this instant fix. But we know that because of this new beginning, we can take steps in that direction. Yeah, exactly. And with that note, we want to be very intentional to look forward facing into 2021 seeing what God has for us, seeing how we can have hope, seeing how we can simultaneously see the world around us and still be a Christian. So the verses we want to read today, and then we're going to have a dialogue about it. It's going to be a little bit different than the other videos. I think that's fitting because we're jumping into a new year, try new things. Um, it's Revelation chapter 21, verses four through five. And this is just a beautiful passage. So I'm just going to read it. Uh, let this reverberate in your in your head as you're hearing this. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain. And I want to add no more mask wearing, no more social distancing, no more canceled plans for things that you were excited for since last year. For the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. For these words are true and faithful. Before we before we talk about it, I just want to point out that there are a lot of verses in the Bible that talk about God wiping away tears. I think of Isaiah 25 verse 8, which literally says the same thing, um, that God will wipe away... Sorry, I lost the verse. Okay, there we go. Um, nope, still lost it. Here's 25. Thank you. Verse 8. <laughs> And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And then you have in Revelation 7, 17, God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. So this is this is a common... <laughs> sorry, our <laughs> dog, sorry, cat. Um, this, is, this is a common thing in scripture, right? That wiping away our tears is something that God is yearning to do. Well, and it's beautiful imagery too, you know, with the symbolism of of our pain and suffering and the source of all of it is going to be going away because of God. Yeah. It's beautiful. Totally. And like whenever you're crying or whenever you're going through something that's traumatic, um, if I come up and literally just wipe away your tear, that doesn't take away the pain immediately, right? No, it doesn't. It just takes away the one tear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally the one tear. I still have tear ducts though. Yeah, so yeah, 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 I can yeah. make more. Yeah. So, so what, what I'm seeing when I read this is not that God, like you, like you just said, <laughs> that God will take away our tear ducts and all of a sudden we're, no more, we're not crying anymore. Everything is magically better. <laughs> I, I don't think God's going to yeah wave his hand and suddenly we forget all of the pain and we forget all of these things that we've went through because that we've gone through. That's bad grammar. Um, because uh, that just doesn't seem to be how God works. God is very intentional to 
heal, not just cure the symptoms. So he untangles the mess instead of wiping it away. Yes. Yes. He doesn't, he doesn't go on like a dry erase board and just wipe it all away. He deals with the issue. So, so if he's healing our hearts, if he's doing the thing that is the hard thing, which is healing the human heart, wiping away the tears is a step in that process. But our goal is not to get to heaven just to avoid pain, right? Right. Well, um, I mean, that's part of it. I mean, that's, that's a great. <laughs> you know, we're talking about new things, and we're talking about God making things new. And I, I think a large part of it, you know, let's not let's not be let's not try to be over spiritual. Of course, we want to avoid the pain. We want to avoid death. This has been a terrible year, and a lot of us have suffered in just ways sometimes that aren't even words. Um, There's been a lot of pain. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Tough. Hey, come on. I we we have some close friends who have lost. Tough. <laughs> okay, she thinks she's a cat. Sorry. <laughs> um, I know, especially with the topic that we're talking about right now. So, uh, it, we just need some levity here and there, right? Um, and we don't want to make this this video too too long, but we we just suffice it to say that when when God cures us, He's not just giving us ibuprofen for the headache. He's curing the cancer. He's curing death itself, and he is going out of his way to make sure, right? Yeah. That this never happens again. Right. That's the whole untangling process. It's not just wiped away. Yeah. So a good uh, a good Bible verse that fits with it is actually verse three of Revelation twenty one, and we read verses four and five already, but we kind of want to jump back to summarize. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. I love that because the whole thing that makes the wiping away of the tears, the the promise of the future, the whole thing that makes that solid is the fact that God is with us. This isn't like, oh yeah, you know, may God be with you as you travel. This is literally like me and you sitting next to each other, God wiping away our tear. It's an intimate, intimate thing that can only happen because God goes out of his way to come towards us. And this is our hope for 2021, is we serve a God who comes to us. Mm -hmm. We serve a God who is going out of his way to make sure we believe that this thing that he's doing for us, creating a forever home, is something he's really doing. And I love just just to put the the cherry on top, uh, at the end of verse 5 like we read, God says right when he's telling these things, right, for these words are true and faithful. This is the same God that created light itself with his words. If he is to double certify that this is true by speaking it in the first place and then saying right for these words are true and faithful, I find very little reason to doubt. Well, you said he breaks the fourth wall here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. He, he's like writing, it, it's having John write this in the Bible, but he's right. saying, hey, you, the reader, write this down. This is important for you to remember, especially in the year like 2020. <laughs> That's right. It breaks the fourth wall. So God is saying, hey, you, Bible reader, this stuff that you're reading are not just words on a page. This is a reality that already is, and I can't wait to share it with you. So with that, I think we're ready to take on 2021. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. Don't forget to join us for our next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.